So in this video, I will show you how the Avingo features work. Uh, by default, for example, it's allowed that people can print from in any application. So for example, I have started over here my uh, Microsoft Paint application. If I go to print, you will see that there is a virtual printer uh, available in uh, Avingo. Um, via the features, we can, for example, disable printer for specific groups of uh, users. So we could, for example, say that only uh, users who are in a specific group are allowed to print and that other users cannot uh, print. Um, there are many features in Awingu, so I propose we have a look at the feature page of Awingu and then we go over them one by one and I'm explaining you what they are and how we could uh, restrict them. So for the features, you have to go to the uh, system settings and then configure features. Um, this is the list of all the available features in, uh, in Awingu for the moment. And the first one is the printing. So, for example, if I would like to make the virtual printer not available to everyone, but only to a specific group of people, I could, for example, say the virtual printer is not available for everyone, but only for the uh, training uh, admin uh, users. Um, features can not only be disabled on users and group, but also on, uh, on context. Um, I'm going to explain that in a, in a later video, but, but know that uh, context restrictions are also possible on the individual features. So printing is one of them. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the one I've just uh, demonstrated. Uh, next to printing, uh, what you can also do in Awingu is you can do session sharing. So for those of you who are not familiar with that, uh, if you have like an application like, uh, like Paint, what I can do is I can do a right click on it and I can, for example, share my session. Um, that means that uh, other people can, can see what I'm doing on the screen, can, uh, for example, take over uh, control. You will see that in the, the screen uh, sharing, uh, there is a possibility to share it only with colleagues, eh, with, with, uh, with domain users, or also to share it publicly to, uh, to everyone. Uh, both this and uh, the public one are two features in Awingu. So if, for example, I would like to restrict um, um, the session sharing only to specific colleagues, then I could, for example, say session sharing is allowed not for everyone, but only for, uh, for example, the group uh, users and the group uh, admins. If I, for, for example, would like to disable public sharing, so if I would like to disable that people can share um, uh, sessions with uh, anyone publicly on the internet, I could, for example, remove the all from it. And then uh, in this case, it is still allowed to, to share sessions amongst colleagues, but it's, for example, no longer uh, possible to share with the uh, external people. Uh, other features which are linked to each other are file download and file upload. So in the files page, if I go to files, uh, you see if I select the file that it's possible to download. Uh, if I select the file, there is the, the download button. So the, also this is something we can disable on uh, individual user or context uh, restrictions. Same thing for uh, uploading documents. So um, if I uh, don't select anything and I can click on upload, so also this upload feature is something you can uh, restrict. Uh, what we, for example, see these days that, that many people are working from home. You would, for example, allow them to upload something from their private computer, but you would, for example, like to prevent that somebody can download something from a, a system or inside your organization to a private computer uh, at home. So in that case, in the feature page, what you could do is, for example, say it's allowed to upload, but it's not allowed to uh, download. Um, something similar like uh, with, um, uh, with the session sharing is the file sharing. So again, in Awingu, it is possible to do file sharing. So if I click on, uh, on this file and uh, click on share, there is a, there is a built-in uh, possibility to do uh, file sharing. Uh, also, the file sharing can be done uh, with colleagues, with uh, authorized users or with public users. Uh, again, this is something we can configure on a, on a on a per user or on a per security group. So I could, for example, say file sharing is allowed uh, for everyone, but it's not allowed to do it uh, to do it publicly. So in this case, users can share documents with uh, with their colleagues, but not with uh, any unauthorized uh, users. Um, if uh, you don't want to use files at all, uh, there is a possibility to uh, make the the files page hidden. So if you don't want to make the files page visible to users. This is also something you can uh, disable with the features. Last feature is the, the clipboard. So um, in Awingu, it's possible to do copy paste between uh, Awingu and remote apps. Uh, important to mention, it's only possible to do that with text. So you, you cannot copy files or documents or images that way, but with text, it is allowed to copy from, uh, from the local device to, uh, to remote app or uh, backwards. 
If this is something you would like to disable, again, this is a feature. Uh, if you disable the local clipboard, then it will no longer be possible to copy uh, paste between local and uh, remote.